Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about the Iron Giant Holiday Special, my latest short film, and it was a ton of fun to make. I want to talk about the process and how it went from concept to completion. So first off, you know, this was a very short production period. I think I did this in about three weeks. The animation process itself was done from a Thursday night to a Monday night so you know a very extended weekend about four days uh, and I spent about I think 42 no it was, I think it was like 38 hours animating during that period of time so really uh, it, was, it was it was pedal to the metal once production got underway and so you can see right there you know once I got that concept it, I had to quickly turn around I did a short three page storyboard that I could share with the composers and I'll talk about that later uh, and then from the storyboard I had a shot list and that shot list really allowed me to um, really get some Kind of ideas as far as later on when i'm actually shooting to know okay this shot needs to be uh 200 frames this shot i need to have the slider move uh on the 70th frame go all the way to 120th or whatever it may be um so really early on you know this the camera pans by really fast on the concept storyboard and the shot list but that is so incremental and in stop motion when you're planning things out uh to uh to really make all this other stuff work I did build the entire set by hand and uh, using a lot of hot glue, I used uh, a lot of foam board to give the set some of its shape, and I used granulated and powdered sugar for the snow, so it was a very sticky production. I had to wear gloves the entire time uh, just to keep from fingerprints being all over the place, and when the production was over, I had to use an air compressor to blow off every bit of equipment that I had just to keep it from you know getting sugar everywhere. But yeah, you can see, you know, the, the skyline right there gives a nice silhouette of like a forest. And I used actual pine trees, clippings of pine trees that I just took from my backyard. Uh, and I was really impressed with them. They, uh, you know, I, I had them in the set in my cold garage um, cut uh, for over a week. And they kept their form, they kept their shape, they kept their color. Uh, and so I was really impressed with that and, and surprised, honestly. Um, and what's funny is that I actually went to Hobby Lobby to go and see if I could buy some like cheap Christmas trees and like repurpose them, but they were way too expensive and they didn't even have enough for me anyway. So the real deal uh, was actually kind of a best case scenario for my needs anyway. So to light the set, I had an Ari in that top left corner, uh, providing some nice rim light, but also somewhat justifying this idea that this was kind of at a twilight time, or it was like right at the, as the sun was setting, and so it was both dark, but there was also plenty of light, and so um, I had the uh, so the white backdrop, and the you know that's just a cloth backdrop with an LED panel um, with RGB lighting on it that I uh, was able to like fine tune to the color that I wanted um, shining up against it and then I had another Ari pointing straight down that was the key that really was what um, illuminated the Iron Giant throughout most of the short film so you can see right now I'm in the Dragon Frame software and I have the uh, motion control tab open uh, and this was the first time this was the first film that I got to use a motion controlled slider and it really really uh, elevated my game I, I it adds a huge level of production value especially for something that has such a tight turnaround as this two and a half weeks uh, production did you know I wasn't able to do huge elaborate animations and and uh, and set designs and, and changes so I really was leaning on the uh, movement of the camera to help tell the story and add a level of intricacy and nuance so I finished the animation process on a Monday night uh, it's in a very rough cut of the short film without any of the effects or sound effects to Akiyama Music. They're a uh, composing duo in California. They were really great to work with and they um, also coincidentally have a love for the Iron Giant, which is why we work together on this. Uh, and I gave them, I, you know, up front I said, hey you guys, I, I had to get this out on the 17th. And, you know, that's two weeks from now, and I can't get you anything to work with, really, uh, until, you know, three days before I want to publish it. And they said, it's okay, that's okay, you know, we can do it. And boy, did they ever do it. So I, I, I finished animating on a Tuesday, uh, and they had me the final cut, after, that's with iterations too, the, um, the final cut 
I think on that Thursday is when I posted. So huge shout out to Akiyama Music. I think their score brought a huge level of uh, integrity or emotional weight to the story. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, the quick concept to completion. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this random look in my studio, AKA my garage that was freezing. Okay. Thanks for watching. A proper behind the scenes making a video for this holiday special is coming soon. So like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks guys.